This is Dell XPS 13 9370 model and today we are about to install Windows 11. So what are you going to do? We are going to connect this bootable installer, the USB one. And as you can see here only Type-C connector for this model. So we need to have either Type-C converter or Type-C USB stick. If you don't know how to create bootable Windows 11 UEFI installer, then you can check the video link would be in the description. Once it connected, make sure you leave the charger connected. Why? Because we don't want to see any sort of interruption during this installing. So what you need to do now, we need to switch it off completely. We need to press the power button again and keep pressing F2. Here we go. So that's the BIOS main page. As you can see, it shows the model number on the top. Okay. And we need to change a couple of settings. As you can see, this is by default already in that way, which is EVFI. And then legacy option ROM has to be unchecked if you want in EVFI format. And then secure boot. So from here, you can turn on the TPM 2.0 if you would like. And also the most important is secure boot has to be enabled. If you click here, as you can see, this is enabled. This is the one way. Now let's say you want it to do in legacy environment, then what you have to do, you have to do right opposite whatever we done, okay? As you can see, it has to be checked out. We need to check this for legacy. I mean, whatever we done, we're going to do the opposite. And this is the settings for legacy. But our bootable installer in EVR5, so we need to go back to exactly the same settings that we done. So simple. Just to show you again, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uncheck it. Secure boot on. Yes. And keep pressing F12. If you keep pressing F12, it's going to take us to temporary boot option. And from here, I'm going to check my USB installer, highlighted it, hit enter, and now it's going to load up. So here is the main setup page. It's pretty simple. From here, you just need to hit next, accept the terms and conditions, Select the internal drive. And this is touch enabled, so I'm going to do it like that. We're going to accept the terms and condition. Next. Now the bottom option for clean installation. Okay. And all those partition, if you do have something like that, means you do have your data in there. Before you delete it, make sure you back it up first, okay? But if you don't have any data, you're good to go. You can delete all those partitions just to make a single partition from the drive. But if you'd like to divide it in many partitions, you can. Now we're going to hit next and pretty much that's all. Now it's going to copy everything to the main directory. And couple of times it might take restart, which is normal. And then that would finalize the setup and take you to the main page.
all right so the setup has done now we need to update some drivers so we need to have internet connection connect into wi-fi and update it if you don't have wi-fi connection then you need to download it from the dell official page with the model number and service tag and put it into the usb and install into that one thanks for watching still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and i hope i will see in the next video bye for now